In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will be experimenting with the generative fill feature in Photoshop. Will she be able to create a masterpiece, or will a male ballerina steal the show? Keep watching to find out. So here you are with Photoshop 26.1 also known as Photoshop 2025. And today you're gonna to be trying out a feature introduced back in 2023 called Generative Fill, which is powered by the latest Adobe Firefox. Uh, what happened to the car? You'll find out in a moment. Did you crash the car? No, I did not crash my car. Powered by the latest Adobe Firefly image model. So before you try this feature out yourself, let's start off with this oh, sample I don't image like that. edited as an example, which features my car parked near your house. And there are seven modifications I made to this image. Oh, what's that poem? I know. I will revert the, the changes picture. as you spot them. So what are the changes in this first? So this is what you can produce okay. with this tool. And then you're going to try it The yourself. birds? The birds are fake. Okay, let's get rid of the birds. The yeah. poem? We don't have that. We not definitely, yeah. We don't have a Pomeranian. The picture? Of this? Yeah. Do you notice something else in that area that's different? That's well, not our pink. balustrade. Oh! I actually said change the balustrade and then it actually turned our solar inverter into a picture in the background. <laughs> but it was the balustrade that I, I was trying to change. I didn't even notice the balustrade because that's my style yeah, of see, balustrade look. and I really like the balustrade. See, that's what it's changed to. Oh, that is so funny. And that's what it is. And you didn't notice that it wasn't that. It was this. Yeah, I didn't know. You just I like just, it. I just liked it and thought, wow, that is <laughs> better than what I remembered it. But I, I'll go with that. <laughs> That's better than... Okay, I want to say. I should get it like that, no. you know? Okay, are there any other things that are in this image that you've noticed that aren't aren't really as they well, really I are? I don't know whether Jazzy wears a bright pink top. Pink shirt. Boom. Yeah. Gone. Well, I don't think we've got a tyre that's on the ground there. Correct. There are two more changes. I don't remember those pink flowers. Correct. Maybe... Look, oh, pink really? flowers gone, see? Oh. So that's the difference. Because I didn't... Because... The... The pink, you're like, that looks nice, but it looks I don't nice. remember it. Per, it oh, produces purple, purple flowers. It doesn't produce pink. the pink ones. Oh, so I okay. thought, wow. They're but pretty, but no. No. Okay. There's only one more thing in this image that is not um, how the image originally was. Can you tell what the last thing is in this image? The car. It's well, not the car, crushed. yes. Yeah. That's a modification That's to the, the image. That's the thing I noticed yeah, yeah, straight okay. away, and I thought, no. It's quite modified. Now, you're going to start. I like it, the balustrade, but I don't like the car. Now. Starting off with a completely... Oh, the toucan. Thanks. I was seeing if you'd notice. I was going to say, starting off notice. with a completely fresh image that I didn't modify. But yeah, right. You figured out that I well, didn't I modify. Well, I wish you didn't because I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> you wouldn't mind him sitting there. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll get rid of him. Now, you can use the tools yourself and do whatever you like. Like, okay, let's think of your favourite animal. What is your favourite animal? Well, a chicken, obviously. And where do you want the chicken to go? I want him on the seat. So what you do is you draw a space where you want the chicken to be. Mm -hmm. This is just using the lasso tool. Yep. Mm -hmm. You click on generative fill oh, and you, you type in there. what you want. Oh, okay. So start putting it in. A beautiful, exotic, just make sure you spell colourful everything chicken. Right. Reading. No, 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 no. Just stay. A newspaper. That's a bit tough. That's just normal. The no, that's not normal. Chickens don't Generate. do that. Generate. Well, this one does. Too, the newspaper's too big. Like, it's okay. That's a mini hen newspaper. <laughs> it's the hen daily. The bird times. Note that the AI is actually not running locally. The processing occurs online via Adobe servers. Uh -huh. So you must have an internet connection if you intend to use these AI features. Also note that the price of Photoshop in Australia is 33 and Australian it's a dollars per month, <laughs> and the plan comes with 500 generative credits. Well, so, so what's happening? The, the newspapers, he's not even holding the news. I was just <laughs> a third leg or something. He's not even holding the newspaper. It's just floating above him. So what you've got here, just so you know, it says one of three. It generates okay. three for you, and you choose which oh, one you prefer. I like that one. Or that one. No, no, that no. That one's too fake. The second so, one. The second one. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes. There you go. There we go. So what do you think of it? I like it. Remember, you've got to make sure whatever you're drawing will fit in that space. It will fit. Because it will never overlap. The mm -hmm. head will, if it's too short and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what would you put there? I think you should have drawn it a bit bigger. No, you can know you because it doesn't know what Philip is. I'm not like that <laughs> iconic. Generate. But I think you should have done that a lot taller. Because I, I, I think the smaller. elephant itself and then the thing on the back, you know what I mean? It'll be a smaller elephant. A mini elephant. 
And also note that use of this feature, even though you're paying $33 a month for something like this, it comes with 500 generative credits, so it's not unlimited. What has happened here? Much. That's like a wave. It's not always perfect. It can sometimes get a little bit confused. Click the next one. What's ones. happened to his foot? Just click the next one. Well, I think the face is also quiet. Yeah, it, it definitely... That looks real, huh? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, I'm going to have this one because that looks more real. Standing on that. What's going to be standing on it? It would have to be something with tiny legs. This is Dracula or something. What is that? What can fit there? So you've set a ballerina standing on point in a white tutu. I always wanted to do ballet. After this, you're going to go take two photos yourself. Okay. And we'll edit those and then we'll end the video off. But I'm finding people, it definitely has more issues with people and faces and hands and stuff. <laughs> You didn't specify the gender of the ballerina. But I'm assuming it would be a female. Not, what is this? This are, is an abomination. They're a male ballerina. But not I mean, wearing ballerina. that. And I, I actually don't even want that. <laughs> what is even wrong with that? Yes. That's the best one. Yes. Okay. But I want her standing on that. Can I move her down a little bit? Unfortunately, you Can can't. Can I just grab I'll her? I'll show you why you can't. Because the background. The background. See? I'm <laughs> never actually going to look at our courtyard ever again in the same way. Okay, He's even got on. the hairy underarms. Okay, have you got your phone? I'm never going to look at this courtyard the same. <laughs> I want a giraffe in the bath. Good luck. With me washing luck. and a monkey tugging on my top. I want to take it with this so I can then have flowers growing on. But then I'll be upset because it doesn't really look like <laughs> Oh, no. I have to do this one too. Okay. I want a monkey on his back. On Ricky. So what do you want to do first? The dog, the gazebo, or the bath? Let's do the dog. Actually, no. Let's do the bath. How are you going to do this? Because you don't know exactly what a giraffe looks like. I do know what a giraffe looks like. Do you think a giraffe will fit in that? You I think that's so. how short their necks are? Comes Giraffes up. have pretty long necks. I know they do. You oh. just describe what you want in there. Let's just see. Yeah, let's just see if this works. It's like a new skill these days, Ooh. knowing how... Well, they, how to word it. How to, yeah, prompt engineering is what they call it. Oh, and that's okay. even a job, career so opportunity, like... apparently. Well, that doesn't look like a giraffe to that's me. That's a bird. Well, it knows you like birds. <laughs> how does that look like a giraffe? <laughs> I didn't think a giraffe would fit, so it's obviously thought, well, a giraffe doesn't fit. But I said a small, realistic giraffe. I don't, I, these don't even resemble a small, realistic giraffe. I'm so unimpressed. Okay, let's... And to think people pay, what? <laughs> 33 a month. 33 a month for this. Yeah, but you don't even get unlimited use of this feature. It's also a limited feature, too. I can um, modify your hair. Oh! <laughs> That's an interesting one. Well, at least it gave me curls. Yeah, it did. I See? didn't specify. Oh, and there's that. <laughs> and that. It really changes up your look, doesn't it? <laughs> like this one. I'm giving it lots of space. I just wrote a giraffe in a bath. <laughs> I like how it filled the bath up with water. What does it take these days to get a real giraffe in a bath, for goodness sakes? It looks like a blow-up giraffe. <laughs> Give lots of space. Just do like in a big area so it, so it can choose how it's going to draw, yeah. Do I say my top? Well, at I leg, I don't know. A monkey. I don't... At leg, directions, a gel. I'll okay, what that. are the other choices? There's there's two other ones. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I actually like that. Where is it reaching into? It's giving me a bum pat. Wait, was the first and... one more realistic though? But what is it looking at? <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah. is your first image. Move on to okay. the next image. Okay, the gazebo. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do this time? So what are you going to do? You, you look like you're doing a lot. That is a huge fill. So are these like flowers? Flowers wrapped? growing on the wrapped. Straight away, I already know. It's going to put a different arch there. Oh, we'll see. <gasps> oh, wow. That's, that's not quite what you were going for, but it's still very pretty. Not really. Oh. So what are you going to do next to this image? I'm going to have... A large dog. No, holding a cat, actually. See, the, the when you say holding a cat, it instantly can't do it realistic. Can't do realistic. That'll do. 
Okay. Okay, there we go. How's it holding it? In its mouth. By one paw. Great. Yeah, by one paw. You sure it's not eating a cat? What's the last thing you're going to do to this image? Well, that bit of garden is full of weeds. Get rid of the weeds and put a lovely rose bush. With lilac roses, okay. Yeah, something different. Okay. Yeah. So did you know you can actually write a prompt in more than a hundred different languages? They're not lilac, they're pink. I think oh, that I looks, prefer that. That looks more, yeah, that looks real. Notice how that's a little bit blurry there. Yeah. No, I'm going to go with that the because that's one. not so blurry. So we'll do the last image now. I'm going to have a cat sitting on his back, pulling his tongue. So you make it very difficult. Like well, let's just you see. You've got to give it a basic challenge. Thing. I just want to pr practice one first and see if I can change something. What, are you going to make it not a total different dog now? I just want to see. So, what was the see point of me even taking a photo? No, no, no. Of this I just dog. want to see. I what? just want to see if you ride a lion. Because you know how Dad calls him lion and some bear, maybe a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to get a lion now. That's so cute. Oh, come on. I should have drawn it bigger, though. I've heard that, um, like a local one, you can run on your own computer called Flux. They've added sort of these in painting features and stuff that, you know, run locally, unlimited, you know, don't have to keep paying for it. So I wonder sort of how that would run. How, how would that compare to this? So you're riding a cat sitting on the dog's back, touching the dog's tongue. <laughs> Ricky from a brachycephalic face. Into a face snouser. He looks like to a, a snouser, snouser face. <laughs> the cat's not even touching the tongue. And it's even changing the pillows. The thing it does best is when there's like a blank space, you draw something and it just adds something to that space. But when you're trying to merge and tell these objects to interact, that gets hard. A large rat sleeping. <laughs> that is weird. It's like a, a hybrid baby pillow. There's your rat. Now that is terrifying. That is the kind of rat I would scream at if I saw sitting on our lounge. Well, there we go. What do you think of Adobe's new AI generative fill feature? It's got potential, but I don't feel it's quite there. Because first of all, you because have to be... Because you're doing difficult things. Well, that's the... If you're paying so much for it, and it's, if it's so good, you'd expect <laughs> it to be able to do the difficult things. I mean, you shouldn't have to be... what? What's that thing again? That a engineer. prompt engineer. <laughs> you shouldn't even have to be a prompt engineer to be able to work it. It should just work with simple commands, and it knows what you're talking about. I like, though, that... See how it's yeah. got the rat indenting on the lounge yeah yeah it's the lounge is being pressed yeah. you can see the weight this is much easier for it because it's not interacting with anything okay. that kind of thing that's very easy that's very simple okay we'll keep that one i want to test the and do you want to see the all, other ones oh yeah i do yeah it's an actual cut off chicken leg but it's not coming out of his mouth because you didn't draw his mouth in it right? see if you can do better <laughs> okay next one <laughs> I think I like that one. Okay, and draw a hat on him and that's how we'll finish it. And he said they've even given him teeth. Hat. But dogs aren't really supposed to wear hats. If it was you and I was popping a hat on you, it might be easier. But you've noted. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best hat I've ever seen. I think it's going with the theme there. <laughs> yeah, the what's theme. Happening? There's mice everywhere. <laughs> Seriously? Did you see the other hat? That was the best Totally hat. unexpected. If, if we could get Ricky that hat, okay, that would be I'm amazing. That, one, that is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one, actually. Yeah, the first one was hilarious. But it makes him look a bit like a skunk. <laughs> it's okay. He can be like a skunk. That is a hilarious hat. Okay. Let's just say that shocked you as much as the male in a tutu shocked yeah. me. So that was Adobe's generative fill feature in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Clearly, it does still need a bit more work, but at the same time, this is some tricky stuff we're challenging it with. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.